A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral, which means it has four sides, and each of its four corners are able to fit on the edge of a circle. However, the circle does not have to be there for it to be considered a cyclic quadrilateral. Now that might seem confusing at first, but when we show you, or when I show you a few examples, you'll start to see what we mean by that. So this over here would be considered as a cyclic quadrilateral. Forget about the circle though, it's just a four-sided shape, and each corner happens to fall on a circle. But if I took the circle away, then that would still be called a cyclic quadrilateral. But then does that mean that all quadrilaterals are cyclic? No. We will investigate ways to prove whether this fits on a circle without even having to have the circle at all. But for now, we'll keep it basic and we'll say that this is definitely a cyclic quadrilateral because we can see that all four corners do touch a circle. Now, let's look at some properties of cyclic quadrilaterals. The properties of a cyclic quadrilateral are the following. The first one is that the opposite angles always add up to 180 degrees. So for example, if this angle over here at A is 100 degrees, then B would be 80 degrees. That is a property of a cyclic quadrilateral. Furthermore, if I had to extend this line over here at B, then what would this angle equal over here? Well, well done if you realize that that is simply going to be a straight line over there. And so this angle over here would be 100 degrees because 180 minus 80 is 100. And so what we can say is that the exterior angle, which is the 100, is always going to be equal to the interior opposite angle. It's not going to be equal to the one on the right or the one on the left. It's going to be equal to the interior opposite angle. And so those are the main things that we need to keep in mind for now. Therefore, if we had to look at this shape over here, we could quickly say or easily say that A is going to be 130 degrees. Why? Because it's always the opposite angles of a cyclic quad always adds up to 180. And the proper reason for that would be opposite or op angles of a cyclic quad. Like that. So it's obviously quadrilateral, but we just use the shortened word quad. We could also say that this angle here, so we won't call that B because that could also mean that angle, we'll rather call it A, B, C. Well that's going to be the opposite of the 70 degrees, so that's going to be 110 degrees, also because of opposite angles of a cyclic quad. And then we could easily find this angle here by using angles on a straight line, or we could just say that that angle is the opposite of that angle D over there because of the exterior angle always being equal to the opposite interior angle. And so let's practice using that method. So this angle here, we can't say D because that could also be this one. So we'll call it CDA. So angle CDA would equal to, oh no, that's not the angle we're looking for. We're busy looking for this exterior angle B. So let's say this was angle, well let's say that was letter F. Then we could say C B F is going to be equal to 70 degrees and the reason is that the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle. So the exterior angle is going to be equal to the interior opposite angle. And then by the same way we could say that this little angle over here would be equal to 110 degrees because that's the exterior angle is equal to the opposite interior angle. And then having a look at this angle or this question over here, we could straight away say that angle D is going to be equal to 160 degrees. And the reason for that is that the opposite angles of a cyclic quad. We don't have to say that they're equal to 180. If your teacher does that, then that's no problem. And that's it for that one. And then lastly, in this example, we could say that D well, that's the opposite of B, so we could say that angle D is equal to 100 degrees, and that's because of the opposite angles of a cyclic quad. Because remember, the opposite angles have to add up to 180. And then we could say that angle C is equal to 110 degrees for the same reason. So in this video, we saw that a cyclic quadrilateral 
is a quadrilateral that is able to touch a circle at, four, at each of its four corners. However, the circle does not have to be there for it to be a cyclic quadrilateral. But in the next video, we will explore how to prove if it is a cyclic quadrilateral if the circle is not present. We also saw that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral always add up to 180 and the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral will always be the same as the interior opposite angle.